What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince of YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, aka that 23 year old kid with the light squeaky voice, aka Prince Anthony, aka the president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks. And we find ourselves up 2 0 against Jackson Baldwin and the Chicago Bulls. In game one, we came all the way back to beat the Bulls in the fourth quarter. And then in game two, they just had no answer for Freddie Staples, Porzingis, and Devin Booker. They had no answer for our big three and the rest of the team as well as we take that big 2-0 series lead heading into Chicago. But looking at the Western Conference, the Rockets have a 2-0 series lead against the Golden State Warriors. In game one, KD dropped 41 points, but the Rockets beat them by three points. And then in game two, KD had 30 four points but the Houston Rockies was just too much as they win by 13 points and they have a 2-0 series lead against the Warriors so it's looking like in the finals it just might be me against the Houston Rockets but anyways welcome to the Windy City welcome to Chicago for game three of the Eastern Conference Finals Freddie Staples versus Jackson Baldwin Bulls versus the New York Knicks the rivalry continues if we win this game bro we are definitely sweeping the Bulls there's no way they're coming back from a 3-0 series lead anyways like I said Bulls Knicks Let's go, Knicks. We got this, baby. About to take that 3-0 series. Uh-oh. Let me see what you got, Zach. Zach Levine driving on Devin Booker. Bringing that help defense. Willie Hernan Gomez. That's what I like to see. Bring that help, baby. Who's this wide open, though? Porzingis taking his time, knocking down the jump shot. He was not going to miss that. In this playoffs, Porzingis is averaging 29 points and 11 rebounds. Oh, nice pass by Clarkson inside to Jackson Baldwin. And Baldwin have the first four points of the game for the Chicago Bulls. Come on, I got to strike. I got to get those two points right back. Freddie Staples throwing up the floater. And Willie Hernan Gomez inside. That's two. Oh, come on. Get out of here with that. Brooke Lopez with the mean block. They get it to Baldwin, and he throws down the G G G J. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be saying that for them. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Jackson Baldwin with the jam. That was a nice dunk, though. But here's Freddie Staples. Two-point lead for the Bulls. They're starting to get their offense going. I'm stepping back. I should have launched that three-pointer in the face of Clarkson. He can't guard me. But here's Porzingis. Though. Oh, nice cut. Nice cut by Freddie Staples. Looks like Zach Levine about to run that pick and roll. And Nicola. Oh, get out of here with that. How y'all just going to let him get to the basket and throw down that jam? I'm not watching no replay. Unleash chaos, my foot. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in this possession. End of the first quarter approaching. Bo's been on fire. You know, I'm about to launch this three-pointer. That's too much space. That's too much space as Freddie knocks down Zach Levine driving on Seth Curry, pulling up. Bad shot, but still gets it to go. Yo, Zach Levine got like 15 points. This dude is really beasting. He has taken over for Jackson Baldwin, the offensive load at least. But I'm driving with Patrick Beverly. Can't get the layup to go by. Get the offensive rebound. Who's this wide open? Seth Curry, perfect release. Knocking down the three. Nikola's not doing nothing. Oh, they can't get to the corner. Zach Levine launches a three. Can't get it to go this time. Thank God. Okay, oh, I thought I almost got back to a violation on that. Zach Levine, 16 points, 6 and 9 from the field. He's been beasting. Nice rare miss of the three-pointer. Nice drive, kicking it to Kyle Kuzma. And he lays it up and in. He should have took it to the basket and dunked on somebody. Like, come on, Kuzma. Take it to the rim stronger than get the ball to Jackson Baldwin. Whatever we do, we can't give up another three-pointer. What do they have on this possession? Looks like they're running some screens. Oh, they get it inside to Markinen, but he can't get the shot to go. Getting the ball up ahead to J.R. Smith. I'm launching a three. I'm launching a three. It looks like I got pushed, but I still knock it down. I see Baldwin running. That's my steal. That's my steal right there. Oh, come on, bro. That should have most definitely been my steal. Moving the basketball. They get it to Jackson Baldwin. I'm bringing that double team. Clarkson fakes the three, gets it off to Laurie Markinen, but he still can't get the three-pointer to go. We have to score on this possession. We have not been playing well in the second Quarter. Staples get a wide open three. And Clarkson trying to guard up like he could actually guard Freddie Staples. You can't guard me. Getting all the way to the basket and one. Come on, y'all can't guard Freddie Staples. Get out of here with that. Staples with the beautiful and one, and he knocks down the free throw. Two-point lead for the Bulls. Come on, we got to get our offense rolling right now. 
The Bulls are not missing. We need to rack up on some stops. Oh, give me that. What are you doing, Clarkson? Staples takes it from Clarkson. I see Porzingis alley you to Kristaps Porzingis. And he's unleashing chaos with the beautiful j j j j Chicago Bulls moving the basketball. Still got a three-point lead. Looks like they're about to go to Jackson Baldwin. I saw that coming. Bad shot by Baldwin. He's not getting that to go. Come on. That was a horrible shot. Only down by three. We have to score. Freddie Staples throws up the floor. They can't get it to go. We get the offensive rebound, though. But if at first you don't succeed, try again. I'm driving to the basket, and Freddie lays it up and in. One point left, one and down. Jackson Baldwin pulls up in the face of Jay Crowder. In and out, can't get it to go. They kick it out, though. Meritage for three, can't get it to go. They get another offensive rebound, and Chris Dunn gets the dunk off the cut. Come on, we got him. Yo, grab the rebound. Five point lead for the Bulls. They can't miss. They can't do no wrong right now. Here's Freddie Staples getting it inside to Porzingis. And he running that pick and roll with Kyle Kuzma to start the fourth quarter. Getting it to Kyle Quinn who gets it inside to Kuzma. And he throws down the jam. Five point lead for the Bulls. Come on, we need a stop, bro. We really need a stop. Only a five point lead for the Bulls. We couldn't stop them all game. Come on, we got stopped on this possession. Jackson Baldwin putting the moves on J.R. Smith. Taking it all the way to the basket. Why you did Kylo Quinn like Jackson that? Jackson Baldwin just probably ended the career of Kylo Quinn dunking on him like nothing. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that poster. You definitely did not have to do Kyle like that. You could have drove to the basket, get an and one or something. But you definitely did not have to end Kylo Quinn's career like that. Like, oh, my God. He really is going jump man on us right now. <laughs> Baldwin screaming for the ball in the post. Fakes the pass. He's guarded by J.R. Smith. I'm bringing that help. I'm bringing that help. Oh, I forgot about Nikola. And they knocked down another three-pointer. Oh, my goodness. The role players in second unit for the... Oh, get out of here with that. Okay, I didn't turn the ball over. But the role players in second unit for the Bulls are really balling out right now. Moving the basketball, though. Finding J.R. Swish. He gets a wide-open jump. Stop and score. Stop and score. That's what we need right now, a stop, and then we have to score in the next possession. Looks like they're trying to get it down low to Lopez. I'm bringing that help. Wait, I was already helping, Kuzma. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Kuzma held when I was Freddie Staples, and I already had his help, bro. Oh, my goodness. Lori Markkinen knocks down a three-pointer. Let's see if we can score in this possession. Staples takes it all the way to the basket. But this game looking like it's already slipping away from us as the Bulls call time. About to run that quick pick and roll with Porzingis. Oh, I'm wide open. I'm pulling up. Freddie Staples can't get the wide open three-pointer to go. And now here comes Jackson Baldwin. Get out of the way, Booker. Just leave him alone. It doesn't really matter. He was going to dunk that ball anyways. But the Bulls got a double-digit lead, and this game is basically over. A minute and five seconds remaining here in game three. Let me see if I can at least score in this possession. Here's Freddie Staples taking it all the way to the basket, laying it up and in. Looks like it should have been an and one. 12 point lead for the Bulls. Freddie Staples, 22 points. He was the main one beast in this game for us. The rest of the team didn't really do anything, but the entire Chicago Bulls team was really balling out. Zach Levine gets a wide open three. Can't get it to go, but they get the offensive rebound and put back. That's what I'm talking about right there. Game over, bro. Patrick Beverly gets a wide open three, and I can't hit anything. Oh, my goodness. I was really throwing up bricks all game. I don't know what's going on with my squad, but we lose by 11 points to the Chicago Bulls, and now this series is now 2-1, meaning that in game four, the Bulls are going to have the opportunity to tie the series at two apiece. But I got to give credit where credit is due. This was a good game for the Bulls. Just a horrible game for us, bruh. Really a horrible game for us. We couldn't hit nothing. Of course, I knew that Jackson Baldwin was going to ball out. He had 25 points doing his thing, leading the Chicago Bulls team. Also had six assists. Zach Levine did his thing with 18. But it was really the second unit and the role players that really surprised me. Brooke Lopez did his thing. Bobby Portis, Nicola, Chris Dunn, Denzel Valentine. The bench unit really got it done. Brooke, congrats on the win. The bench was huge tonight. How big were they? You know, we have such a great starting unit. And I think our second unit gets overlooked a lot. You know, uh, they come in... Um, I honestly think they're better than all the first ones in the you all helped win the game tonight, bro. Congrats. Brooke Lopez throwing a little bit of shade, saying that the second unit is probably better than a lot of first units in the league. But anyways, when I normalize play to simulation stats, Jackson Baldwin had 43 points 
and 10 assists. Zach Levine with 30. Jordan Clarkson with 17. Lori Markinen, Brooke Lopez, Bobby Portis, and Chris Dunn all had 10 points. And on top of that, three of those players had double doubles. That's amazing right there. Good team win, good team effort for the Chicago Bulls. Got to give credit where credit is due. But looking at the box score for our squad, our team really didn't do that well. But Freddie Staples, of course, did his thing. 25 points, 7 assists, 2 steals. He was balling out. Devin Booker with 12. Chris Alex Porzingis with 12, and the rest of the team didn't really do too well. Now, when I normalized play to simulation stats, Freddie Staples had 42 points, 3 steals, 12 assists. Porzingis had 20. Devin Booker had 19, and the rest of the team did okay. Kyle Kuzma and J.R. Smith was our only shining spots off the bench. Patrick Beverly did not score at all. 0-5 this game. Horrible, horrible game for us. But we're going to have to bounce back most definitely. We can't allow the Chicago Bulls to tie this series. Because to be honest, I'm not trying to have this series go longer than it should. Because I think that's really going to favor the Chicago Bulls. Because if you really think about it, if you give momentum to the underdogs... They're going to capitalize off of it. The Chicago Bulls are a seventh seed. So if they get momentum behind them and if they feel like they can actually beat us, I have a strong feeling they just might. And I'm not trying to have that happen. But anyways, we lose game three to the Bulls. Game four in Chicago. We have to take that 3-1 series lead. We got that, baby. We got that. Let's go Knicks.